hello guys i am aman from android src uh, today we will be looking a multi module app how a multi module app work and how can we use it in our apps so basically there are some situations in which we want uh, to create two apps like one app for a buyer and one app for a seller and there are some things which are common to both of these so in this tutorial we will be creating a three module app basically android create a single module app by default we will create two more modules so we will start with a module named buyer and uh, then we create a module named seller and the third module named common and both of these buyer and seller will have dependency on common so the code which is present in common will be used by buyer and seller okay so let's get started so we'll start by creating a new android application we will name it as buyer so click next next and then create an empty activity and name this activity as buyer activity buyer activity and just click on finish Android Studio will generate the code and it will index the, those so our app uh, has been created by the Android Studio now we can see we have a single module named app so we will rename this module to buyer since this is a and this one is buyer module okay so android studio will reindex all of the things and uh, it will rearrange some things to build the code as you can see there is small dot near this buyer uh, so this means that this module can be built into a apk okay so we can see there here also we are getting a buyer and since there is cross across this app module it does not exist we have changed the name of this module to buyer so we can remove this from here okay now we will create a new module we will go to file new and uh, then new module we will create phone and tablet module we will name it as seller next next seller activity activity and finish now android studio will reindex things again and it will introduce a new module here mm, yeah now you can see there are two modules buyer and seller both have dots that means both can be exported as an app now we will create one more module which will be a common module and this module will be of type library we don't want to build an apk out of out of it so we'll continue with the library module and we will name this module as common and just press finish android studio will reindex all of the things again these things take some time but ultimately it will speed up the process of building app so we have we can see in common we are getting these bars that means it is a library module we cannot create an apk out of it we, uh, okay let's go and explore in project perspective so in this application we have three modules buyer common and seller each of these module are independent right now and uh, all of these has these build gradle files of their own common module also have build gradle file and uh, buyer also have so these are our modules okay next thing what will we do is we'll add a dependency of common in buyer and seller so here we can see there is no dependency of any other module so we will go and do this through ui now we'll go to open module settings 
and then we will go to dependencies and press this plus button and click on module dependency and we will select the common as module dependency and we will bring it to top and now you can see build out gradle of this buyer it says implementation project common that means the common project will also be included during the build of this apk same we will do for the seller module go to module dependencies plus button module dependency common okay and move it to top uh, all of these things we can do by adding just a line in build out gradle and that is implementation project common so this way we have created this dependency now we have a wire module a seller module and uh, a common module and both of uh, these are depending on this common module so now let's go to our project and we can select the main like uh, which project we want to deploy on virtual machine from here now currently we are we have selected buyer module so we will go to buyer now switch our perspective to android and we will go to buyer and buyer activity uh, okay we will go to this common java and we will create a class named common class and uh, to this class we will add a variable public static variable public static variable message and we will add this here message hello from common and uh, okay so we have created this common class and we have added a message hello from common class what we want to do is we want to showcase that both of these modules which can be built into an application so we will reference this message from both of the modules so first we'll go to buyer activity and uh, here uh, we will give some id to the text view tv buyer next we will reference this here so in android studio 3.0 we have facility to note uh, cast the view into uh, during time of reference that is find view by id so we will reference here and as you can see it is not giving any error and also i don't have uh, casted anything here so earlier we have to do this and this is showing that there is no need to cast this yeah remove redundant cast it will remove it for you okay so we will uh, show that message here tv buyer dot set text and uh, common class as you can see we are able to reference this here that class here common class message to buyer screen buyer activity yeah we have set the text here now we what we can do is let's start the, our emulator and uh, when the emulator is starting let's go to seller module also and we will do the same there we will add id to text view seller and we will also reference text view find view by id TV seller okay and
as you can see we are also able to get common class reference here and yeah we will also add message so we have completed our this task also so we have added some message here reference from this common class and uh, here also okay so let's start our app and see what message did, did it show we have selected the buyer module so it will show the buyer message on buyer uh, application app which is been compiled so let's wait for this to build and uh, finally we will be able to see this on our screen so we have the apk has been built and it's showing the activity the activity which is showing is buyer and uh, hello from common class to buyer activity okay and let's see its icon and it's here this is the icon for the app okay and we have also created another app which is named as seller so to start the seller app we select the uh, seller and press this play button this will also do the same using this common class and uh, seller it will build an apk and uh, show it on our emulator and it has finished building apk hello from common class to seller this is the message we have entered in our seller activity okay so let's go to our launcher and we can see we have a buyer icon here buyer application icon here and seller application icon here okay so in this way we are able to create two applications in inside same project and with a same common library which will be shared between both of these okay so one more thing let's build apks to show you that uh, it's building two apk uh, as you can see here it is executing two tasks buyer assemble debug and seller assemble debug so it will be creating two modules and the apks has been created let's go there and locate the apks we have a buyer app and inside that we have a buyer module and in build in buyer we have a build folder and in build folder generated no it's not here uh, i think it will be in outputs yeah buyer debug apk okay and for for same will be done for the this seller inside seller build outputs apk debug and this seller debug apk has been created so this way we are able to create two apks from the same code base inside a single project or on the same code base which we which on a common code base which will be common library projects okay so this is my first video tutorial hope you like it so it things will get better with time